Welcome, Cancer, to your autumn equinox reading. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. So if you want to, um, if you're not sure about your North Node, definitely look that up because they can be really helpful or knowing that can be really helpful with these Celtic um, Wheel of the Year readings. And uh, what we have for you today is just some guidance for Sabbath to Sabbath. Um, if you've watched my other videos, maybe you want to go back and look at what was going on for you in the last Sabbath video. So Lunasa or Summer Solstice, I believe I have posted. Um, otherwise, and this is a reading for, we'll see as we go, it could be for the next few months, it could be for the full year, we'll see. You do have um, a really interesting, some books record this as Hawthorne as well. So we have Hawthorne and Hawthorne, so kind of doubling down on the mystical quality of this autumn equinox for you. I feel like this is a time to work great magic, particularly magic pertaining to things ending and things coming to a close. So letting go of certain things that may have had a grip on your body, your heart space, your soul, I feel like these are things that you may have thought that you have processed emotionally, but there's still a lingering connection in your body. There's also a very strong energy here of being able to take pleasure in a more fairy-like lifestyle in the sense that you're able to start to play around with this energy of ambiguity of things not being strictly bad or good not being black or white not being this or that but being somewhere in between the hawthorn is a tree of enchantment and so during this period of time i feel like you will have this quality available to you you will have this magic available to you the ability to enchant people into believing whatever you want them to believe about you but with this magic comes great responsibility because you will have to discern whether you are using it in the right way you know it may be intoxicating to enchant people and have them want to follow you or want to worship you or something like that particularly with this cancer energy where maybe sometimes you feel powerless against people this will give you that kind of feeling of power but you're you're called to be really mindful of how you use this power, how you lead others, how you are, how you uniquely have skills and abilities that others are in need of. So I feel like in some really beautiful way, Cancer, you are going to be leading people from the heart space. It's just not allowing that to overtake your your ego or to fall into a space of arrogance or something like that. And you may be laughing because you're like, oh, like, you know, cancers aren't typically very arrogant, but they can be very self self-protective, and it, it there's like a version of it. So this is a time to stay open. Okay, there's also because it's autumn equinox, we have the access to the ancestors and to the fae, and it feels like you have a really deep connection with these things, or even if you don't know, you do, you do, <laughs> and so you're able to. To really take advantage of this time and connect in with your your guides, your ancestors, the spirits and energies of the earth. So really making that a priority, especially in times of in-between light. So dusk and dawn, being out in nature is going to be really key for you in creating this devotional practice or in connecting with the things. Like if you're in need of guidance, that would be the time to go. I feel like there is an aspect of you that is ready to, to like there's a skin that you feel you need to shed and it's not quite time yet. I feel like there's something more that you need to learn or something more that you need to know. And it's going to come through this period of time where you are um, living in this liminal space, the space between. Your intuitive sensibilities are going to be heightened at this time. Yeah, you have the ability to hear the wind. You have the ability to 
discern a fable from a foible, like to, to learn the lessons that are coming forward for you. And then you have birch, which is new beginnings. This is what you're longing for, and this is what you're working toward, is this new beginning. And I feel that it's almost there for you, but there's still something, there's still something. And I'm thinking back to the wind and that, the, the wind in the, in the birch trees. You know, the birch is the, one of the first trees to grow out of a forest fire. And I feel like there's something here, Cancer, about something needing to burn down. Almost like this isn't even a sunset, but it's a fire off in the distance. Maybe burning away something past shells, past little crab shells, like fueling the fire with all the different ways that you've protected yourself and allowing yourself to stay open and vulnerable enough to, it's almost like it gets so intense being this open and that this vulnerable that you want to close off. But if you can stay open, the new beginning is there for you. It's like you break through into this new light. So it's like walking through fire to get to the light and trust that you are, that you are protected in this, that you are able to that in this space of vulnerability, people can't hurt you. Your new beginning is coming. King of Vessels. Yeah. This is being your most cancery self. <laughs> so embodying all the qualities of cancer that are that are um, that are badass, that are ancient. You know the crane, um, or the heron. It's the crane, but it's kind of like a heron. Um has this ancient quality to it. There's an Ireland, there's an Ireland, there's an island off the coast of Ireland where the heron is, or the crane stands and has stood since the beginning of time. So this is this kind of sense of eternity to this, a timelessness connecting into the ancient intuitive arts. And the, the cranes. Okay, so this is an important bird for you. <laughs> a very important bird for you. You may want to observe them or look into them. But this is talking about friendship, joy, love, connection. I feel like for you, this is a really good time to connect in love. If you are, if you, if there's someone that you have your eye on, or if there's something that you've wanted to, someone that you've wanted to connect with, or if you want to reconnect with your partner, now is a good time to to express your love. There's a lot of power and magic in your emotions at this time, and then there's also this coming together in friendship or celebration. There could be a marriage coming up or a proposal that's coming up that either you are coming forward with that or someone else is for you and wanting to join together. This could indicate, and if that's the case, it could indicate that they have a child or that you have a child or they're, that like it's three people coming together. So I feel like it may be that, or it may be that you're making a child together or you already have and then you're going to solidify your relationship or your commitment in some kind of way, but it's bringing a lot of joy. And it feels like everyone is bringing their own unique flavor to it as well. This is a time of emotional abundance for you, Cancer. It's really, really beautiful. And though you want this new beginning or you want to pioneer some sort of effort, it feels like this is really more of a time to revel in the emotional, to revel in your your personal relationships, your friendships, whatever. And I feel like this new beginning has more to do with your career or something something of that nature. And this is more about you connecting in with your spiritual and emotional intuitive self. We have the card of adventure, live wild and free. I feel like this is a uh, living wild and free with emotionally, like allowing that emotional aspect of yourself to have to have its time, to have its time in the sun, to have its time to attract others. Like this is what you're going to attract. And I feel like if you 
are <laughs> you have to have trust in this like if you don't have anyone in your life the fairies are going to bring someone to you or the your guides or whatever you, it is that you work with they're going to bring someone to you and it could be completely out of left field like it's really unexpected to you because the everything is magical and chaotic i want to say and so there's something that you could not foresee, there's something you could not know, but your intuition is going to be strengthened by this connection, by the connections with others. And then we have journey, branch out to new worlds. This is indicating that it's a good time for you to journey to the other world or to do middle world journeying, especially when you're out in the forest at dusk and dawn, but also to start a new journey um, when it comes to relationships and love. But not to cage yourself into something how do i put this it's like you you can start something new in love or relationships but you can start something new emotionally but it's not going to like the the details of it aren't going to be held down so this is why it's more like an engagement or something that isn't really fully physically tangible at this time it's more like it's something that's fully felt that's the beginning that's that's that precedes the kind of tangible beginning that you're looking for your mystical awareness is very very high your intuitive sense is very high the autumn fae go slowly and listen closely for the words of the tree spirits yes I feel like Riverside is a big thing for you, like Riverside and anywhere there are birches, so the edge of the forest, you may not notice in bigger forests, like the, the birches can be in the middle, but they are the, the kind of pioneer trees, they are the first trees, so this is the beginning of something really big and really beautiful, but emotionally you have to be in the right place for it, especially for you, Cancer. And then we have the griffin. Be brave and fly above the clouds. With all of this really interesting bird energy, like the these are birds that actually fly. They look like dinosaurs when they fly, but they are not typically what we think of as flying birds, right? They are more, they have their feet in the water, they have their feet on land, and then they can fly. So they have access to a lot of different dimensions, and I feel like you will too through this period of time. I'm also getting that this is not a long cycle. So for some, um, it's, it is both, okay? So it is both a short and long cycle. I know that sounds weird, but it's the beginning of something long lasting, but it's also um, a short period of time before this, this other new beginning starts. So it feels like it really is just the autumn, maybe up until Yule is the cycle for you, and then things will start to shift and change. I feel like you're leaving behind a certain kind of wisdom system, so you may... You know, your beliefs about relationships or something to do with that, friendships, things like that are changing. And so you're leaving that behind. And as well, your relationship to work or your work-life balance is shifting as well. You're starting to see the value in, in nurturing yourself emotionally and how that impacts your work and, and helps you to achieve what you need to achieve in a roundabout sort of way. Okay, so listen to the fairies, listen to your guides, listen to your heart and your intuition, let that be your guide, and I will see you next time. So if you would like to book a personal reading or see my different services, all of that's linked down below, show your appreciation in any way that feels right to you, and we'll see you later. Bye, Cancer.